The next function we'll look at is Picture in Picture. Press the PNP button and select a source signal from the auxiliary bus. There is a picture of an animal on input 3. Let's select this and press PNP1 function button. Turn preview on in the menu to confirm the size and position of the picture window. Once you can see the PNP in the preview display, let's adjust the PNP window size by turning the F4 dial with the size column. Instead of turning the dial, you can push F4 again, then input the number on the numeric keypad and pushing the Take Enter key. Selecting Border On will create a border around the PNP window. Border width, color, and softness can be adjusted. The PNP window position can be controlled using the Positioner joystick. Push this button to see PNP on the program output. Another push of the same button makes the PNP disappear from the program out. Now we'll turn the PNP preview off. Next we'll use PNP2 with a different window pattern. Select Source 1 from Auxiliary Bus. Press the PNP button on the menu selection and access the settings screen of PNP2. Now we'll turn preview on for the PNP. Since we used a square window for PNP1, we'll use a circle for PNP2. Select Circle PNP. Turn border on and push the F4 dial. Then input number 40 from keypad and press Enter. A 40% size window for PMP will be displayed. Using positioner joystick and dial, you can adjust the position and size of PMP window. As with PMP1, pressing the PMP2 button on the far right sends PMP2 to the program monitor. Finally, turn PMP preview off.